So now that we've learned the, the surface area of a pyramid, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a pyramid. So the formula for volume of a pyramid is V equals one-third base area times height. Okay, now there's a couple things we need to talk about first. So BA is the area of the base. So the area of a base so the area of a base of a pyramid is gonna be the area of this square. So to find the area of a square we take length times width which for a square we know would just be side squared because they have equal length and width times the height. So that's our final formula for volume. Now when we talk about the height we're not talking about this height of this triangle right here. We're talking about the height that if you drew in would come perpendicular from this point up here to the center of the base. So the height is the altitude drawn perpendicular to the center of a base. So sometimes we're going to have to use our Pythagorean theorem to solve for this length. Because if you look at it, this height with this height of this triangle and, and this little line right here forms a right, right triangle with this being the height, this being one half of the length and then this being just the height of the triangle which just so we don't get confused we're just gonna call this A. So sometimes we're gonna have to use that to give us our H but you have to make sure you are taking that per the line drawn perpendicular to the center of the base. So now that we know how to find volume we're gonna do some examples where we have to find volume. So volume is equal to one-third length times width times h. Now since it's since we're multiplying these and multiplication is commutative, it doesn't matter what order we multiply in as long as we multiply the right stuff. So volume is equal to one-third and since we know that the bottom of this is a square, it'll be 8 times 8, or 8 squared, times our height, which is this line right here, which just so happens to be 3. So V equals 1 third, 8 times 8 is 64 times 3. Now, we're going to multiply these all together. So if you look, the 3 is going to cancel to the 1 third, because when we multiply fractions, remember, we multiply across, so this 3 is like a 3 over 1. And if we multiply across, we'd get 3 over 3, which is just 1. So our volume is equal to 64, and we're in centimeters, so centimeters cubed. Remember, volume is always written in cubic units. So now we're going to do one more example. So volume is equal to one-third length times width h. So volume is equal to one-third, four times four, h. And right here, that's a seven. So volume is equal to one-third times four squared is 16 times seven. Now, I don't know that at the to off at the top of my head, so I'm going to plug that into a calculator real fast. And if you do that, you will get 37.333 repeating. And then pretend they gave us inches. This would be inches cubed. Now, that's all we're going to do with volume 
of a pyramid. But make sure make sure you come back and watch the l next video, which is going to be our final video in this series for Intro to Geometry. And then after that, we're going to go into geometry with which takes the things we learned in these videos and makes us do a, something a little bit harder with them. So make sure you come back to check that out.